What's popping, Wolfpack? I'm Kaylee Ota. And I'm Sammy Bringus. Today is October 21st, and we're here with your distance learning announcements. Recently, the game Among Us has been blowing up. Even Congresswoman AOC was streaming on Twitch, playing Among Us, just last night. Let us pass over to Josiah for more details. What's good, Wolfpack? It's Josiah Edwards, and I'm here to tell you about a new game called Among Us. Now, if you haven't been living under a rock for the past couple months, you've probably already heard of this game. Millions around the world have downloaded this new, awesome video game. It's gotten to the point where it's so popular, even the EGUSD has its own Discord server. By the way, join if you want to get ran up in Among Us. So basically, the game kind of works like this. The goal of the crewmates is to identify the imposter and eliminate them, and to complete tasks around the map. The imposter's goal is to sabotage and kill the crewmates before they can complete all their tasks. Only through the voting system will imposters be able to be removed from the game. If all imposters are eliminated or all tasks are completed, then the crewmates win. If there's an equal number of imposters and crewmates, or if a critical sabotage goes unsolved, then the imposters will win. <laughs> Just me personally, I would play the game with my friends. It is an online video game so you can play with anybody you want around the world. But for me, just playing with my friends is the funnest thing ever. Because when I'm the imposter and I win and I kill everyone, it is the best feeling. And this game is for all players of all ages. Maybe not kids, because of the gore. Personally, I love being the imposter over the crewmate. I'm pretty sure most people that play the game can agree with me. Being the crewmate is fun. But when you bop everyone as the killer, it is even more fun. The reason why most people think that this game is so popular as it is is because it takes almost no skill and it is super simple and most people can pick it up in two games. Fun fact about Among Us, it actually came out in 2018 but didn't start getting traction until mid-2020 and now it is one of the most streamed games on Twitch. Congrats to our scavenger hunt winners last week. Seven hunters found all 30 items. After drawing the winners' names out of a hat, the winners are Sophia Caseda, Justin Ning, and Taylor Gannon. Now let's pass over to John for your sports update. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, back at it again with your weekly sports update. There's a lot to catch up on in Major League Baseball, so let's take a closer look. The Los Angeles Dodgers made a huge comeback down 3-1 to one in the National League Championship Series and ended up clinching the National League pennant. They played the Atlanta Braves in a seven-game series and will now will be moving on to the World Series. This is the home run in the seventh inning hit by Cody Bellinger to take the lead for the Dodgers, which not only ended up winning them the game, but also the series. The Tampa Bay Rays have also clinched the American League pennant against the Astros and will be heading to the World Series to play the Dodgers. This is the franchise's second time making it to the World Series. The last time in 2008, they took a tough loss against the St. Louis Cardinals. The 2020 World Series is a best-of-seven game series and will take place in Arlington, Texas. The series starts October 20th and ends October 28th, if they play all seven games, that is. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan. The new PS5 launches next month. Let's see what Milani has for us. Next month, both Microsoft and Sony are releasing their next generation consoles just in time for the holidays. Microsoft's Xbox Series X is being released on November 10th for $499.99, while Sony's PlayStation 5 is being released just two days later on the 12th for the same price, and $399.99 for the digital edition. Now, there are a lot of factors to consider when deciding which console to buy, such as price, specs, and console exclusives, but many people are just going to buy the console that succeeds their current one. Here's a quick overview of the specs. The PS5 has ray tracing, ultra high speed SSD, which allows near instant load times, 4K TV gaming, up to 120 FPS, HDR technology, 8K output, and backwards compatibility for games. The Xbox Series X has a split motherboard, which evenly controls the temperature for a higher output of power, heat sink to increase performance reliability, a vapor chamber to evenly spread temperatures within the core, a whisper quiet fan that allows the console to run smoothly and cool quietly, and backwards compatibility for games. But in the end, the decision is yours. 
Pelican Police is live on October 26th to the 30th. Due to our recent circumstances, we will not provide you your pumpkin, and we will not be on campus. The categories are students and teachers, pair up with a teacher, make an iconic duo, most scary, and COVID-19. Make a pumpkin that represents 2020 and its craziness. The winners for each category will win a $5 Starbucks gift card. Good luck, Wolfpack. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Sammy Bringus. And I'm Kelly Otsa. Remember, the strength of the pack is a wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy National Apple Day, Wolf Pack.